This is a mini documentary on age and appearance where I interview some college students on their age and appearance basically. I ask three questions and sometimes a few like odd questions here and there just to further pick out what they're talking about. Uh, so the first question is what was your experience which by that I mean when were you asked about your age like what was the situation did they believe you or not like what happened second question is do you understand why that happened whether it be what they were wearing or like their hairstyle at the time or something like that very interesting answers actually and the third question is how would you resolve this which was what would they do to fix that problem or if they saw it as a problem or if they thought ID cards was a good idea. So on most of them I do ask about ID cards, like if they like the idea, would they be up for it? Would they get one? So without further ado, here are the interviews. What was your experience? Well, I walked into the cinema and I was going to see a 15 film and I went to order my ticket and they wouldn't sell me it because they didn't think that I looked <laughs> what age were you at the time? <laughs> I was 15. Oh, you poor soul. Well, I went to Asda with my sister and I went to buy a DVD and it was Carrie and it was a 15. And then when we went to, to, the, uh, to the till to buy it, the woman was like, have you got any ID on you? But we didn't because we didn't think that we'd need it because my sister's 19 and I'm 16 and uh, we weren't allowed to buy it. Yeah. Well, I was out shopping uh, with my mum. Um, this would have been last year, maybe. Um, and and there was this woman. She was handing out leaflets for um, apprenticeships, and uh, she thought that um, I would be kind of starting high school or kind of like at the start of high school, as it were, when I'd actually just finished, not long before. So a little bit awkward. The first time I was ID'd was. Uh, within recent memory at least, was when I went to buy a drink um, and I was not the right age, simply put. Uh, I wasn't 18 and I'm a horrible person for doing that. When I was on holiday in the summer, uh, me and my friend uh, went out to a bar and we went up to someone and this, this guy thought I was 26 and that she was 21. Mm -hmm. That yep. sounds incredible. It was a pretty fun night. <laughs> Every time I go to see a 15 at the cinema, I get ID'd and I'm 18. So I was in uh, Carlisle and I went into a shop and they didn't have any tobacco or anything. So um, I tried my luck to go and get some and I walked in and I said, can I have my tobacco? And he went, have you got any ID? And I said, no, it's with the DSR, which is like a student thing for uni, which means they take your ID so they can check that you are who you are um, and he went okay I, I'll, I'll give you it this time but not next time um, and I've, I've been in like a couple of times uh, and AC still served me. Basically on internet when I'm on Facebook talking to people and they get a random ad and um, they're all like oh how old are you and I'm like I'm 16 and they're like you look older than you, you are and I'm like I'm not. Well we were I was out with my friends and we were sat outside a pub not like directly outside but we were like over the street and we we're just talking and then this woman came over and she was like um oh you're 18 do you want to come in the pub with us and i was like no you're all right and she's like but i need you to go in for me so she asked me to go in the pub to find her friend who was called sausage and um, she was like oh come on you're 18 it's fine you won't get kicked out and i was just like no, you're okay. <laughs> and, and she just took off, and I don't know where she went. I went to get some cigarettes, and uh, the night before I just shaved, which apparently makes me look quite a bit younger. So I went in, and I was like, have some cigarettes, please. And the guy just kind of stared at me for like three minutes. The most uncomfortable three minutes of my life, just right in my eyes. And then uh, I was like, hello? And then he was like, do you have any ID? Like, yeah. So I showed him my driver's license, well, my provisional driver's license. 
and then paid for my cigarettes. One really, really annoying time, we went into uh, Sainsbury's uh, trying to buy an, uh, an Idiot Abroad on DVD, which is a 15, uh, and the woman was like, have you got any ID? I said, no, I'm 16. Do I look like I'm under 16? She went, well, I've got to be sure. And I was, that, that, was, that was annoying that time, yeah. Uh, once when I was in Asda, I was with my dad and he was getting a few bits and he got like a bottle of whiskey and a, a few cans because he was on a few friends over. Um, and I was with him, I was, I was an 18 um, and we went to the self-checkout and because when you go to the self-checkout you have to get someone to come over to put it through because it's an 18. Um, but just because I was with him, he wasn't allowed to buy it so we ended up having to leave it. Um, so he couldn't, he couldn't get what he wanted just because I was there. I always get mistaken for being older really, I always have from quite a young age. Um, even when I was like, I could buy alcohol when I was 14. Um, I remember being at school and I was hanging around with my friends with like 11, 12. And because I was quite, well, I was really tall, the, one of the girl's mums said, why is that guy hanging around with you? He's like year 11. It's like, no, he's in year seven. He's younger than me. Um, and just things like that. Do you understand why that happened? No. Were you dressed like a young person? I, I was dressed sophisticatedly. I looked really, I looked the part of, of a 15 plus year old. Well, I was with my mum, so that probably wouldn't, maybe would have made that woman think, oh, she must be a, a bit young. Um, I'm also quite short anyway, with my physical appearance. Um, that's probably about it. I used to have quite a baby face before I turned 18. Um, it happened quite a few times. I wouldn't get, I w you wouldn't usually get soft, which is a good thing, of course, but you know. Because my makeup, like my eyeliner, it's like quite heavy. Quite a few people say I look younger than I am, and then there's people on the other side who say I look slightly older or the right age. So I'd started thinking that I maybe w could buy 15s and that it passes my age, but. I didn't, and maybe I l did look a little childish that day because I had on, I've got like a pinafore dress. <laughs> I had that on, so maybe that's why, because I'm a bit childish. <laughs> and my sister looks young as well. Uh, I think it was probably because he was like, not in his first language isn't English, he's Algerian, so I thought, and because my hair, it was like really short and like really boyish and the stuff that I wore. What were you wearing? Uh, on that night, I think it was just a fancy shirt with like a blazer over it and just like skinny jeans. Yeah, I always looked older um, from a young age. Um, <laughs> I, had, I developed quite early, so I was a lot more mature. Um, I had facial hair as well, quite a young age. Facial hair at a young age? Like but how big and bushy was it? Not that bad. Um, but I, I properly started shaving when I was probably about 14, so yeah. I understand that obviously it could maybe look like I was, he was getting it for me, but at the same time, if like a woman had a toddler with them, it wouldn't look as if she was gonna buy it for the toddler. So it's a bit, a bit ridiculous. I maybe got a baby face, maybe look younger, braces. Mm. <laughs> so if you get older, so you kind of have braces too. Yeah, maybe I just look young. Yeah, I suppose. I was just dressed normally, had a bit more makeup on than usual, so maybe that's why. But yeah, she was pretty drunk, so that's probably why. So do you think the amount of makeup on a person affects their age or their appearance? Uh, well, yeah, because some of my friends, they don't wear it, but when they do, they look a hell of a lot older. And I think that's like the same with everyone else. It just depends how much. Because if you've got absolutely loads on and you're caked in like loads, it doesn't, well, it will make you look older. If you don't, you've got a bit more of a baby face. Who carries ID when they're 16? What ID can we use? Like there's no, we can't use a provisional or a driving license because you have to be 17 at least to get them. Um, and no one carries a passport around. And places are stopping using passports anyway. So there's, it's difficult. It's really annoying. Yeah. Use a passport no, to get into certain places and to buy certain things, I'm not using a passport because it's so easy to fake. Yeah, that's fair. So how would you resolve it? I have ID. I have my provisional license, and I've also got a passport, so I get around that quite easy. So would you 
you project that onto people who don't have those things, like the ID cards? Yeah. That they can go and see movies that they are allowed to go see. Yeah. <laughs> they just enjoy need themselves. Oh, I hate the movie. Like, either way. To prove they're not under 15, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm 18 now. <laughs> so it's kind of resolved itself. Or, optionally, when you're not 18, just don't buy a drink. Uh, not go out. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, not go out and sneak out of the hotel. I, I don't know what time in the morning. I guess I'll just wear less makeup, but I don't really want to look younger. I just want to look the way I am. Would you prefer it if Facebook itself had the age notification a bit bigger and a bit more noticeable? Well, I don't know. Like, it's quite funny to see what people think, like what age I am. And then they ask if you can get on the town, and it's like, no, I've never attempted. But like, I don't know, it's more of like a mysterious thing, like, oh, you don't know my age. You have to go looking for it or ask me. It's become a game to you. Yeah, yeah it's quite fun. <laughs> Sounds fun. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't know. I think they should just, just believe me. <laughs> I think, so I, am I a, do I look like a believable character? Would you believe me if I came up to you and said I was 15? No? No. Okay. Sorry, no. That makes me really sad. So my idea is to get ID cards that have your date of birth on. That, so that sounds good. You can carry them everywhere. They will be valid in everywhere, places. That sounds like a really good idea, Maybe and I would fully endorse that. That's, yeah. That, yeah. That, yeah. that sounds really great. I would, I would really, I would really stick up for that idea and yeah, support and it. That sounds good. <laughs> maybe not wear the pinafore dress, not go with my sister, and maybe start bringing ID around with me so that I can prove that I'm old enough. <laughs> would you like to get an ID card that has your date of birth on it? So it doesn't have to be a driver's license or your passport. It would be just a little card. Yeah, that would be helpful for people because I, I haven't got a license yet and I can't get any ID really yet other than my passport and I'm not going to carry that round. So, yeah, that would be helpful. Yeah, it's good to your friends. I know. Uh, and I don't want to scan my passport either because I've got a bad picture. <laughs> You're saying that your image on the card affects your overall age somehow. It does. I may look younger, but my age, my date of birth yeah. proves how old I am. Yeah, I, we need ID cards to carry around with our dates of birth on, so I can get DVDs. <laughs> what resolved me not looking older? It's resolved this problem of well, just mistaken. I don't know, I probably wouldn't. I don't mind being <laughs> mistaken for being older, but if I was gonna, I'd probably just change the way I look, make me look younger. Carry around an ID card or anything? Um, well, it depends where I'm going. So, like, if I was going to uh, the cinema or something and I needed ID, I probably would, but I wouldn't just carry it around with me for the sake of having it. Would you prefer having an ID card that had your date of birth on it so that you wouldn't have to carry around your passport or your driver's license? Yeah, car? probably, but a lot easier. It'd be a lot easier having yeah. an ID card. Well, yeah, because if you've got an ID card, then it's like uh, if you take out your driving license, like on a night out or something, what if you lose it? It's like quite important, but if you have an ID card that just says that it's your ID, and like if people are old enough but they haven't got a driver's license or they haven't got a passport, then what are they supposed to use? We went, we went to another shop instead, and he had to go in by himself. So I couldn't go with him this time. So you would get other people to buy with you by themselves? Yeah, so say if it, if it was for my dad, he would have to go by himself and I would have to either wait in the car or just kind of walk around the shop until he'd actually been at the till and bought it. So would you prefer having an ID card to hand where if they came over and thought, oh, you're buying it for him, you go, well, I'm le legal age now. So he's allowed to. Yeah, because... Often, if I go with him now, I'm 18 now, um, and they'll ID us both. Well, ID me normally because my dad looks a bit older. But you can't really do anything, I suppose, if you're not 18 because you can't really say, well, I'm not 18. So an ID 
technology would be helpful. Yeah. No driver's license, no passport, just a lovely little card on the beach. Well, I, I had um, a citizen's card, um, and I got it because I was going to, I didn't have my provisional driver's license, and I was going to Edinburgh on a trip, and we were going to go out, um, and I was 18 at this point. So I bought that because it was cheaper than a, a license, because I wasn't going to learn to drive yet. Um, and that was about thirty pounds, and then we got there, and a lot of the places just wouldn't accept it because they said it wasn't an a, uh, like an actual proof of ID, even though I got it online and had to get people to say that I definitely was eighteen and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like ID cards, they could get in. Yes, definitely. Way of the future. Yeah. How would you resolve this for other people who don't have driver's license who are trying to buy cigarettes? Get a provisional driver's license. What, I mean, they don't want to drive. No, I don't drive. I still got one. It's just easier to easier ID than pa carrying your passport around. Would you prefer an ID card? Yeah. Suppose, but I wouldn't really need one because I've already oh, got. For other people. Well, yeah, I suppose. They need them. It depends, because I doubt you get it for free. Maybe, like an ID card thing. I like. I think would be really good. Because uh, like we have a similar thing like in Scotland, like where I live, where where you have like a sort of ID card thing, but it only lasts until you're 26. And I think maybe some something like that, but in like the rest of the UK, I think it'd be really good. Because um, like, I think in Scotland it works really really well. So I think down here, I think it'd be something that could be really really useful. Well, ID cards are the big thing. There was the big uh, issue with them a few years back. I suppose it is a good idea. Um, it obviously, people won't be able to do illegal things, buy drink and alcohol, whatever. Oh, an ID card, yeah. I think we should have like some sort of ID card from when we're quite young, um, which you carry all the time, so people know, like from like 12, because you have to be 12 to buy like, certain DVDs and stuff. So uh, from like 12 up, you should get a, an ID card of sorts to prove that you are that, that age. Yeah, that kind of thing. Need passport anymore, so they need an ID card. Yeah. Lovely thing to have your date of birth on. Mm hmm Never expire. It should never expire. Yeah, just like I'd say something like this. It's just a it's just a card really. But um like a picture of you and then you but uh, date of birth and stuff. That would work out well, wouldn't it? Yeah. So those were the interviews. I hope you enjoyed them. And as you have just witnessed, many of the college students were actually open to the idea of ID cards. They seem to agree a lot and would actually have ID cards if they were more easily available. I'm hoping to one day make that a reality by using this documentary as evidence and pushing it forward towards the government. Hopefully I get to meet some of those people someday and I can really push the idea of making ID cards cheaper and more easily available. So thank you for watching. I do you want me to tell the whole story, yeah? Lots of DVDs. Mm -hmm. Camera three. Oh, I'm working towards bribing the government. There you go, that's what we need to do. Nice, awesome. That's really cool. Great. Yeah, pretty fun. Trying to break the law, you little vigilante. Yeah. <laughs> <Camera speed. laughs> I need bribery and blackmail. Do you know? Sorry, I can't think. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>